brought to you by Tim Hortons. This message is strictly for the essential workers that continue to support essential muffins. I'm trying to still figure out how Tim Hortons is essential. You can't make your own coffee. I mean, you tell people that they shouldn't go to church. They can pray at home. Can't you make your coffee at home? No, huh, maybe I'm wrong. They don't have coffee makers for homes anymore. Can't you make your own bagel and put some butter on it? No, is that, is that, is that rude of me to say, you know, like why would Tim Hortons that gives you coffee and, you know, muffins, can't you? you oh, is it because it's a muffin? Is it a special muffin? I'm just wondering, is it an essential? Is the muffin essential? Is that what it is? I'm not sure. Huh. Maybe it's an essential muffin. This message is brought to you by Tim Hortons. Please note, this person is non-essential. Hey guys, how are you? It's the non-essential Huckleberry here. How you doing? Everything good? Don't worry, I'm still all bubble wrapped in my basement for you. And so since I have so much time on my hands, you know, like an entire year, um, I decided just for funsies to take a good look at, you know, actual law, you know, not health unit suggestions, you know, and, you know, little edicts from health unit people that are kind of acting like they're the government when really they're not. Cause like, you know, those are the people who tell you, you should try to drink eight glasses of water a day and, and, you know, so that would be good for you. And then you get to decide whether you want to, you know, go pee all day or not, right? See, but it would be your choice. So a health unit is not a government of any kind. They don't declare law. So, but, but I know a lot of people kind of, for some reason, want to keep saying that, but you know, I've done a little research with that whole year off, you know, you know, being, you know, you know, like useless and worthless, you know, for a year. And, you know, all the essential kind loving people have been telling me that, you know, I'm, you know, not really important and I'm dispensable like a dirty diaper. This person is not, I repeat, is not essential and does not support essential muffins. And uh, so with all that extra time, <laughs> You know, I thought I'd look at the um, Federal National Emergencies Act. Warning. True federal law. Let me just read this, this one section in the preamble. Uh, <clears throat> it goes like this. And whereas the governor in council, in taking such special temporary measures. Oh, so an emergency act with temporary measures. Hmm, I wonder how long temporary is. A year seems a bit aggressive but you know what does what does a worthless non-essential person know about this kind of stuff you know as if he has rights or anything like that in this country okay so um these temporary measures however yeah would be subject to the canadian charter of rights and freedoms and the canadian bill of rights oh there's a canadian bill of rights still active warning this person is non-essential and should be completely ignored. So the Canadian Bill of Rights is still active. Oh my, who would have thought, eh? I'm surprised Justin didn't tell us, huh? Or Mr. Forty, uh, I wonder why they didn't tell us. Do you think that they're just kind of holding out? No, <laughs> would they hide stuff from us? Politicians lying or hiding? <laughs> Come on, you silly little conspiracy theorists. Of course they wouldn't do that. Politicians always tell the truth all the time. And even when they're lying, it's okay because they're politicians. Yeah, they're allowed. They're allowed, even though they're not allowed, but they're allowed. Right. So there you go. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's just continue here, shall we? Yeah. And again, Canadian Federal Emergencies Act, you know, if you're interested, you know, just, you know, but I know again, <laughs> You essential people are busy, 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 busy. Yeah, busy all the time, spreading that virus everywhere. Uh, but, <clears throat> and, and somehow it's 
our fault that the virus is spreading, even though you're the ones that are going to work. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Warning, for your safety, we recommend you stop listening to this non-essential. And respect to those fundamental rights. Well, wait, 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 I got to repeat that. So, must have regard to the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights? Oh, civil rights? And political rights? You mean like my civil rights and my freedom to protest if I want to? Oh, wow. Hmm, interesting. So it must have regard to the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, particularly with respect to those fundamental rights. Oh, the fundamental rights that are in the Charter and in the Canadian Bill of Rights? Oh, but probably not in a national emergency, right? Oh, wait a minute. It says the opposite of that here, particularly with respect to those fundamental rights that are not to be limited or abridged even in a national emergency? Really? Even in a national emergency, you're not allowed to roll over my civil rights, my Charter of Rights and Freedoms, nor my Canadian Bill of Rights? That's interesting. I'm a little surprised that Mr. Ford and Mr. Trudeau wouldn't have mentioned that. Oh, well, maybe it's because maybe, I, I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. Did they declare an emergencies act? Did they declare a national emergency? Or are they just kind of, you know, having the health unit that, you know, not government faction convince us that there is a national emergency, but not really technically declare one so that you could pretend you can step all over our rights. I'm just wondering because, you know, I think I remember someone named um, Rosa Parks. I think she had a constitutional right to sit anywhere she wanted in that bus. And yet there was these segregation laws put in place by the state. And I think she won her case because it was segregation. Do you think, I'm just wondering, just, you know, just throwing some thoughts out there because I got so much time on my hands, you know, being home and bubble wrapped like a good little unessential, unimportant, worthless little piece of garbage, <laughs> you know, because I don't want to be selfish and, you know, go outside and I don't know, visit people. <laughs> Because that would just be wrong, right? Because that would be selfish of me to do that. I mean, it wouldn't be selfish of essential people because, you know, you're essential. But I'm just wondering, is that a form of segregation? I'm just, you know, just talk, just, you know, just talking and asking out loud. Just talking out loud. That's, you know, I mean, is it still okay? Because freedom of speech, is that still on the charter? Am I allowed to ask questions or... Or no, I'm just, I don't, I'm not sure. So I'm just wondering if you say, okay, you guys are non-essential, right? So you sh need to like not move and just stay at home and bubble wrap yourself because we don't want you non-essential people spreading the virus. But you essential people, it's okay if you spread the virus because you're essential. So we have this one group over here, nah, not essential. And we have this other group over here, very, very, very important, very essential. Is that a form of segregation? I'm just, you know, just tossing that around. Is that wrong of me to ask? Just curious. I, I don't know. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to come across like I don't love my neighbor. You know, I just I want to love my neighbor too. You know, but I mean, I'm not allowed to see my neighbors, so because I'm unessential. So. I'm not really sure how to love them since I can't even visit them. I'm, you know, so, um, but thank you for loving me by telling me I'm a super spreader if I leave the house and you're not because apparently you're not bad and you're perfect and essential. And if I say that that seems, I don't know, unfair that's just me being selfish, yeah. Because it's, you know, for, if for a year, I'm not willing to not have any income, I should be okay with that, right? Like while you guys still make your income, yeah. And maybe even some of you profiting, you know, a little extra. I mean, I'm just wondering if Costco is making more money or if people who sell masks, do they make 
money on the masks and stuff like that. I'm just wondering. We will send you a year's supply of essential muffins if you stop listening now. Do people get any perks right now at all? Have they gotten perks? I'm just wondering. Um, but I mean, I don't really, you know, I shouldn't ask any questions because um, I've been declared uh, worthless. So uh, I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to make this video. Um, wow, because I'm talking. And there, I think there was something about freedom of expression and, and freedom of thought and belief, but <clears throat> I'm, I'm thinking that should be set aside since I'm an asymptomatic super spreader, <laughs> like Matt Damon in the Contagion movie. Calling all essentials. You are now required to publicly shame this non-essential. Um, but I know you love me though. I do. I do. I know you love me. And the reason why I know you love me is because you tell me that you love me by telling me to stay home. And so clearly you tell me to stay home. And when you say that, you say we're in it together, even though you're never with me, you're always somewhere else. In fact, I don't even think you ever call me, but I'm sure that you would, but you're kind of busy not spreading the virus, even though you're going like everywhere. Luke 12 verse one, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy.